Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended family, thank you so much for the love and support. Um, you, you're willing to go that extra mile of finding out the things you need to find out about yourself, learning more about yourself than you've ever known before, and being able to embrace the unknown. It's, it's truly beautiful. So thank you for doing that. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. You can hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. If you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know moi. Even if it's about the content of the video, positive feedback of the content of the video, or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. And if you feel like the video has been very informative to you, as well as gave you good vibes, please go ahead and share with a loved one, family, or friend. If they're, especially if they're going through some trying times right now. And give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites. So thank you so much once again for helping me and, so, and support and just sending the love back on my videos is greatly appreciated. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. In today's meditation, I'm uh, listening to Kundalini, Kundalini Awakening Meditation, Spiritual Drum Music, 10 Hertz, Isochronic Tones, 5 Hertz, Binarial Beats, and I will be posting that link in the description box below. Y'all notice, as soon as I start moving my hand, I'm moving my hand down here, and next thing you know, you see that, that light go flash from it again. I had to stop my videos a couple of days ago because it was really acting up. I was just like, oh gosh. But uh, <laughs> my video today is about Twin Flame 101 as we move on with peace and clarity. You know, when, when we do that, we have uh, been going through a lot of things in our life. And uh, I got to power out with the drums. Um, when we, we have gone through so much trauma, we went through so much pain, we, endured, we have lost a lot. Um, and it takes you it takes you a while to be able to heal from the things that has been placed on your life because we're still not just you know we're not just still healing from this life we're still healing from the whole all those past lives that's why everything is so intense right now that's the reason why it seemed like for the last two or three years everything has been so freaking hard you know it's like people have been saying Rosalind, the last two years has really got me the last two or three years has got me yeah it's been like that because it's just like it's having you remember certain feelings and emotions that you have carried from your other life. Even though you might not remember everything by detail, you know some hint of, you know, you're trying to understand this mist of sadness that just came out of nowhere. Mist of anger came out of nowhere. Confusion, despair, you know, just hurt, pain, anything that was in the negative. You were feeling these things from all your past lives. And when you can understand all the reasons why these keep happening all you know why you keep meeting these certain people why are you gravitating you know why are you you know attracting narcissists why are you attracting sociopaths narcissistics you know narcs all these crazy things that you're experiencing right now like that's why I tell people everything is going to seem very intense and I have to keep telling myself this as well um the reason why you're going through so much and it seems so much harder than anything is like you know you feel like okay I got this I got the you know the horse by the reins you know you, you got this but next thing you know bam something else comes through in your life you know right back at square one all over again but if that's the reason why these curses the generational curse is going to be ceased and desist the karmatic cycles what is generation generational yeah you know what I mean generational curse cycle whatever it is karmatic cycle curse whatever it is you know, one of the two Hyoka, Hyoka uh, instincts of popping and saying stuff backwards. But when we go through all these different things, we have to really see the bigger picture of all of it. You know, you have to understand why these things had to happen. You have to understand why things have been taken out of your life, why things have stopped, why things have slowed down. All these different things because our body and our minds as well as our energy is changing, is shifting, is elevating. So it's just they're making you face a lot of things. 
they're they're trying to make you understand the bigger picture behind the purpose of your pain, the big bigger picture of the person, the purpose of your trauma. And it can be confusing at times, trust me, I know. <laughs> you know, trying to get through all these different things, but it's just like, oh, okay. Because it's like making these videos is kind of like, well, it's like an outlet for me. Being able to see the things that I see and then place it on videos to give other people clarity about things that they had to go through. Seeing the strength within yourself, seeing the power within yourself, being able to acknowledge those things, not, in, not allowing anybody to take your power you know, bring, being able to take your power back from the painful experiences, being able to cut off the emotion from the past uh, past memories of pain and the things that you went through. And it's like knowing that you're not a product of your, your painful situation. Knowing these things had to happen for a reason for you to be able to see the strength in them. You know, it could be really traumatizing things. And for that, I'm sorry. But these are things that we had to be able to, you know, bring back the memory for just to remind you, yes, this happened to you, but look how far you have came from that situation. Look how much you have changed from the situation. You know, you're not what happened to you. Now, you know, I have to keep on telling myself, you are not what happened to you. You know, that might not sound right, but you're not that whatever happened to you at that time you know even if you had abusive parents that said you were this 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 or that you never amount to nothing you never this you know just put all self-doubt in your mind to the point where sometimes I've seen myself as well as others which is very sad especially if you have narcissistic parents or family members um they can plant that in your head that you're not enough you don't matter you know you're stupid you'll never amount to nothing you know, all you do is your, your my mom used to say you're janky. You know, my mom said, like, you always bring some bad luck. What, what are you doing? I'm just like, I shoot, I don't know. You know, whatever, danger prone. I, you know, it's just going through all that. But just being able to go through that, you know, it really put me through some stuff. It really did. It had, you know, being able to see things that my family put me through, being able to know that everybody knew about my life other than me and I was the butt of the joke all the time having people laugh at me telling me they knew who my father was and they wouldn't tell me you know seeing me cry but now it's just like they saw something in me that I didn't see in myself because they knew I was gonna get over this sooner or later you know they were fearing that the fact is I would discover my strength I would discover my power and that's what they felt so bad about that they didn't want me to have that and it's just like you can't that, that that's something that you can't help that you know you went through all this and you can either allow your pain and your misery to break you or you can allow it to mold you into this big powerful person with all this strength and confidence from your pain and your sorrow your past experiences what well, you know and it's just a lot of people like living in that you know, there's times I've been there and I'm just like, I got, you know, I'm, I'm just tired, you know, and it was just like reoccurring, reoccurring. And I kept on reliving that all over again when it's not meant for me to relive it. You know, it's just for me to be able to see things for what they truly were, seeing what people did to me and be able to know, you see this happened to you right here. Look how far you have came. Look how far you have healed. So allow yourself to let that go. And put that in that that box that you no longer need and throw it out turn it to the center <laughs> so it just it gives you you know we sometimes we have to go through the most painfulest thing to be able to recognize our strength being able to recognize our our power and how much is so precious for nobody not to have that you know because sometimes we put our power people People have a key to our happiness people have a key to our power especially if you know a past memory comes up you know you allow it to affect you which I used to you know I was doing it yesterday because it's just like you know dealing with all those things you know seeing the abuse all over my head again was so hurtful to me but it wasn't there to bring up darkness tried to use that against me but universe is like Rosalind step back look at all these things that's happened to you but look how many people you are helping because of the fact that you went through that look at it from that end yeah, you went through these things and it is so hurtful and trust and believe karma comes back with people. Whatever you push out is what you get back. And it might not be 
the way you wanted to or how, you know, I used to wish bad things on my family. I really did. Wishing whatever they pushed out on me, the same thing happens to them. And I had to stop doing that because that was giving them power over me. I was still allowing what they did to me for so many years. You know, for so many years. They haven't been able to do it going on five years now. You know, but just those memories was allowing them to have the key to my happiness. Just for them doing these things, I allowed them to have keys to my mind, to my power. And I had to snatch those back. You know, I got that back. Uh, what was it? I, I mean, they, I had it in my mind, but it's just like the universe made me face my adopted father back last year. And it was like April 19th. I still remember April 19th, 730 at night. I remember that. I remember that, you know, I kept my sunglasses on and thank God I was smoking some blunt, uh, smoking a big heavy ganja that night because it was like, if I would have went there sober, I probably would have busted his head wide open. <laughs> I would have gave him what he wanted, but I didn't do that. You know, he was trying to tell me he loved me and I said, I don't need that type of love in my life. That, that's some dangerous love. I don't need that. He was like, you know, I still want you in my life. It hurts me not to have you in my life. I said, no, because it's your time. You 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 want to be able to hurt me the way you want to hurt me just to get your power just to get off on something like that i don't need you in my life and it will not make me or break me i said you could pass away tomorrow and it will not affect me in any kind of way because i said i took I, i'm dead in you in my life so i'm like oh that's just another dude off the street you know and i just felt like that but i prayed for him at the same time but i told him i don't need you in my life because all the things i was making him face you know he was concentrating i said he used to do that military tactic to make sure he focused on one thing so his face you know so his body language wouldn't change he used that military tactic on me but just having my you know my angels in my ears to pay attention to what what's going on don't pay attention to what he's saying, but pay attention to the actions, body language, and all this other stuff that he's saying. He's very uncomfortable because I, I was throwing proof all up in his face about the things he lied about, the things he tried to hide from me, you know, and being able to do that. And, you know, we, we left the restaurant from where we were because they wanted to pick a restaurant. He wanted to pick a restaurant for me to get up and he thought he you know you haven't figured out and the one thing you never do is when you meet up with your opponent and they know you they claim they know you from the back of their hand on how they can get you to react to something never react when they expect you to do that because they never know when something gonna come up that's gonna scare them to mess scare the mess out of them he used to tell me that and I actually used everything he told me don't allow things to get to you you need to stop letting things get to you i use that on against them too and not the being able to not be enraged, I was like, shoot, I was too comfortable. I was on one that day. I didn't even care. You know, and I, I just, I left my heart in my car. <laughs> and I'm just like, you ain't about to be able to affect me. You know, he's like, you're hungry? No. Being around certain people make my stomach turn and I, I, I lost my appetite. You know, I had to do that. You know, and it was just like being able to go through that and know that I was going to be okay, I never, I turned my back on him, and that's just like, you know, if you ever watch Friday the 13th, not Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street, that's what brought me to that point, when Nancy sat up here and turned her back against Freddie, that means he had no back, no kind of power over her, he couldn't affect her in any kind of way where he thought he was, and I, I always looked at my adopted father as the monster in my closet, I was like, he was supposed to protect me, from the monster in my closet but just to realize he was that monster in my closet so i had to be able to get through that so i hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video knowing that when you go through things look at the true meaning behind the situation that you had to go through that get the clarity and the peaceful reminder of you can't get this power of that emotion from that memory anymore knowing it made sense on the reason why you had to go through the things you went through for you to be awoke awaken stay woke but i hope you were able to uh get something from content of this video like and subscribe drop the line give me a thumbs up you know hit that notification so you know when i'm about to upload this next video i'm gonna go ahead and cut this short because it's already 14 past 14 minutes long so i'll see you on my next video much love peace be wild